Hello again, everybody. This is Debbie, and I'm going to doing the third part of making pixel art in Excel. And I want to show you tonight how you might take it from Excel and put it into Google Sheets, which you might do um, because it's easier for me anyway to format in Excel. And then, but my students use Google Sheets, and so I want to have everything in Google Sheets for when I'm sharing. Um, obviously, you can do the reverse as well, and I will go over that. Um, if you just have your um, Excel file like this and save it and then open it in Google Sheets, this is what you're going to get, which does not look very good. What happened here is that Google Sheets only defaults to columns A through Z. It can't read anything after that unless there is text in the columns. So what you have to do is put anything, put an X, put your name, put a period, it doesn't matter, some sort of data in the column after your image. It can't read all of this as data, it just sees it as formatting. So once you've done that and you save it, and then you can close it and go to Google Sheets, and uh, you can either click on um, File and Open or you can import a sheet as well. Um, I have a fresh one here and I'm going to import that Excel file. And it's going to ask me, am I creating a new spreadsheet? Am I putting this sheet in with another one? Sometimes you might have more than one sheet in a um, cell. So these, these options are there. I just want it to, to replace what I'm looking at here and, and give me the file that I created in, in Excel. <clears throat> Loads everything in. You can see our little X right here. And that's how Google knew to add this many more columns to the image. All right, when you're in Excel, the column widths and row heights are not the same as they are in Google Sheets. Here it's easier. You can change your columns to be um, smaller if you'd like. If you want this image to be a little bit smaller, I'm going to change them down to 12. The thing that's different about Sheets and Excel with the column widths and heights is that here, um, you just have to make the numbers the same. In Excel, they don't they don't have the same um, num uh, values. The pixels are counted differently. So this is just done by pixels. So now we have a 12 by 12 image. Um, if you don't like the uh, the formatting on there, you can just take the grid lines off. That's always an option. Um, when you make it smaller, of course, then you're question and answer boxes are smaller. So this is where you might choose to do some formatting and making your, your columns bigger and your rows bigger, which you can only do if you want to keep this size, you can only do over here by merging cells together. If you take two rows and merge them together, you can make 10 more of those very quickly by clicking Control C then your down arrow and control V. Down arrow, control V. And I just go back and forth. Down arrow, control V. Down arrow, control V. It just gives me a very quick, you know, many as I need. So I'm going to type in my first question here. This is going to be multiplication. Uh, we're going to make the font size a little bit bigger um, so that I can see it with my old lady eyes up to about 14. That's better. Um, I didn't merge my answer cells yet, but there's a shortcut to doing that too. If you copy your whole row and then go to the next column and click paste, you'll have the same thing there. All right, now how do we get this formatted cell to be here and to be the right number? You're going to first click on the answer cell that you want. Choose Control X. Control X and then go to here and Control V and that moves everything. It moves not just the number one, but it moves the formatting and it moves the conditional formatting formula. And if you want to check on that, click on Format, Conditional Formatting, and you see it's right here just like we did uh, when, when you set it up in Google Sheets. It looks exactly the same. 
open this up and you see this is the range that it applies to is all of these cells plus the answer cell. Now I need to change this to the correct answer because five times five is not one, it is 25. Once I change that and I click on done, now of course the brown disappeared because what I have written here is one. I need to put the correct answer in to get all of the colors to appear. Okay, so I'm gonna do that again just so you can see for sure what I'm doing. All right, next one, we want to take our answer number two, and I'm going to control X, and then control V. My answer is there. You see the conditional format pop up. I want to change this to the correct answer. All right, and then, of course, you have to input the correct answer if you want to see and check it, make sure that it's showing up. All right, so that's pretty simple. You want to hit control X and then control V to copy and paste the entire formula. Um, let me show you what happens if you just do a control C for copy and a control V for paste. It moves, but it's still over here as well. And that can be very problematic if you're reformatting someone else's. So the control X is the best way to do it. If you control X here, it gathers it all up and removes it and then control V in the place that you want it and you will have formula where you need it. Okay, change the answer here again to 16, done. And now when a student enters the correct answer, the black cells will appear. All right, I think that is it for this video. If you have any other questions about formatting in Excel or moving from Excel to Google Sheets, oh, I promised I would show you how to move the other direction. Um, if you want to download this, or any Google Sheet, and then open it in Excel. You just have to go to the File menu, Download, and then Microsoft Excel. And when you do that, it will download a copy, and then you can open that in Excel, and everything should work just the way it does in Google Sheets when you're talking about pixel art. Not the puzzle mysteries with the pictures inputted, but the pixel art will always work from Google Sheets into Excel. All right, if you have any other questions, um, check us out in the Facebook group and be sure and subscribe to this channel so that you can get updates of new videos. Thanks, have a great night.